in this tutorial we will we will calculate shear force on a bolt connection see we have a bolt connected system and we will apply force at one end and fix this end and we will apply force like 5000 pound at one end and we will find out actual shear force on a bolt so let's see how to do in solidworks let's create plate for bolt connection so first i'm going to change unit ips even though let's go to edit ips and here i'm going to apply fractions 16 okay top plane sketch now let's say center rectangle okay press escape key to out and activate circle and let me draw two circles here press escape key to out now press and hold shift key select both the circle and make equal relation okay one more relation we have to create press and hold shift key select both the center point horizontal okay a smart dimension now this one two space one by two okay now this one from here to here five by eight similarly for this one five by eight inch and center to center one space bar one by eight inch see and distance from here to upper side and this is going to be five by eight inch that's fine the diameter it's going to be five by sixteen inch that's it extrude now one by four inch depth depth or okay now here if you want to apply any color for this okay let's see material we will apply later let me save this part one desktop shear force this is going to be part one now similarly we will save this as a part two save as part two save now let me create cancel new assembly okay now first part i am going to give part one because by default part one always fixed say okay now i want to fix on origin point so drop down and activate view origin and if i move my cursor it will fix attach with origin see click and leave cursor now deactivate origin now here also let me change ips okay let's insert part 2 now part 2 i have to rotate so here comes x y direction one time two time two time rotate it will show you like this place somewhere here activate mat now here we are going to create three mats select this edge and this edge now both going to coincide each other coincident now select this face and this face coincident okay the last mat select this inside both the hole co-centric mat okay now let me save this as a assembly now let's go to solidworks add-ins and activate solidworks simulation even if you don't find here just go to add-ins and here select okay now within few seconds it will appear here now see now the second step is start study new study now here we want to find force on a bolt connection keep static say ok now here we will apply some forces and we will fix something first 
step is right click apply material let's say i am going to apply 1045 steel if you see all the properties here apply close now look material applied now the next thing is <coughs> let's apply connections because there is two parts so we have to apply connections right click bolt let's fix the bolt between this now first here you have to choose type bolt now first is standard bolt first is now in first column circular edge of the bolt head hole so first i am select this edge now activate second edge and this is for nut nut okay now see these data are collected from this hole let me change unit inches see here now i am going to keep uh, connection type distributed because if you use distributed it allows faces attached to the bolt connection to deform which delivers a more realistic simulation now next comes material material of bolt by default alloy steel so i am going to keep as it is even though you can click and change from here now see now next is data strength data bolt strength either no tensile strength if you know you can simply apply or you can calculate tensile strength area thread per inch let's say 10 now let me select bolt strength psi unit and uh, this is going to be 75000 and this is the desired factor of safety which we want to achieve now preload even though you can apply or you don't need i am going to keep as it is now i am going to select this one keep visible say okay now here applied now again go and select sec for second hole now this is the for bolt now activate second second one and this is for the circular edge of bolt nut hole select this one these data are collected from hole connection type distributed material alloy steel now bolt strength data calculate tensile strength area same as previous bolt okay cancel see bolt is applied now here we have two parts so we have to apply connection between both so right click and here apply local interaction automatically find local interaction now select here part 1 part 2 and here select find local interaction now you will see the interaction between these two faces are highlighted say okay say now it is asking you do you want to create selected local interaction say yes okay now let's come down right click fix geometry now one face we want to fix so i'm going to fix this one fix geometry okay now apply forces right click force now i want to apply force on this face see here type force stock force unit ips now here i want to apply load 5000 pound reverse direction i want to pull this reverse direction say okay look let me apply mesh right click create mesh if you go finer side you will get accurate result but it will take too much time to calculate so i am going to keep as it is say okay now it will take few second now see you will see there are many elements and nodes <laughs> now it's time to run this study now we did not apply any preload so this is asking you would you like to uh, continue or no so say yes now it will take few seconds or maybe few minutes according to your computer system how fast it can calculate now look here 
now we want to find a force on bolt so right click on result go to here define pin bolt check plot say yes now here see these two bolts say, say detail now from here let me change bolt unit ips now look not one two one 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 two 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 so one is means bolt number one and not two means bolt number two you will see here shear force 2500 on nut 1 on nut 2 shear force 2500 because we applied 5000 here so equally applied on both even though close and uh, right click list result force now here center force unit IPS bolt now if you see here now look shear force 25 pound on nut 1 shear force 25 pound on nut 2 see so this is how we can calculate say ok now here displacement double click and you will see right click edit definition now display resultant displacement inch now here we will apply true automatic so that we will get a uh, exaggerated view which gives better scientific floating say ok now look this is not real view you will see here deformation scale deformation scale 76 so this is exaggerated view but it looks beautiful right click animate let's say 30 play increase the speed you will see see this is not actually happened like this you will see here displacement in inches 0 0.005 inch this is very small so our bolts are safe ok if you double click show right click animate you will see here a very small stress you will observe here don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching